Hi guys, what's up? My name is BigNotify and welcome back to a, another Minecraft tutorial video and today we are once again in the dropship in my Among Us world uh, and in the last video uh, I said that we were going to do the entire starting of the game but like I, I did say in that video, uh, I sort of lied uh, because that would have just been too long and that video was already like nearly an hour long. Uh, so in that last video we did the entire color picker, so that was this. And in this video, we're going to be doing the actual uh, starting part, where you get like um, picked for if you're an imposter or a crewmate, where you get like assigned all your tasks, so that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, so I've added this lovely button right here, and, and next to it it says press to start. So we're going to press that. But it says error, everyone needs a color to start. Uh, and error, there must be at least four people to start. Uh, so since I don't have a colour, I guess we'll use our new colour picker and we'll just grab... I will go with pink, I guess. Uh, let's get... yep. Alright, so we are now pink. Uh, so if we tap it now, it's only going to say, error, there must be at least four people to start. Uh, unfortunately, since I'm lonely, uh, I don't have four friends that can play with me right now, so I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to make this so that you only need to, that you only need one player to start, which obviously wouldn't actually be possible. Okay, so before I do press this lovely button, uh, I'm just going to show you what this looks like in the actual game. Okay, so now that you've seen what it looks like in the actual game, let's have a look at what it looks like inside of Minecraft, or my interpretation of it in Minecraft. So. Uh, yeah, we'll press the button, and since we have all the players and a colour, we're going to start. Okay, shh. We've been teleported here, we've got all of our tasks, uh, and I'm an imposter, okay? And at this stage, I'd be able to see uh, my imposter teammate, if there was one as well. Uh, and then, eventually, we'll get teleported to the, um, the cafeteria, and at the top you can see the taskbar is going up as well. Also, uh, I have all of my sabotages in my inventory too. So yeah, uh, very good. I'm actually kind of lucky that I got um, imposter instead of crewmate, but yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is what I'm going to be teaching you how to build today. Uh, once again, probably going to be quite a long video, so strap yourselves in and yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so right now we are inside of the uh, other, other dropship where we did the tutorial for um, the color picker. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to come to this wall over here and we're going to chuck down a button. And I'll just put a sign here that says uh, start. And I'll do like like that. Yep. I think my other one was a bit more fancy, but that's that's pretty much all you need. Uh, if, if you really want, you don't even need the sign. Uh, and right outside of the sign, so we're going to come out this way, and I believe I have no idea. I think the button's like here, maybe. Let's let's open this up. Oh, there goes the sign. It it was it has a, it has a short life anyway. Um. So yep, this this button will turn on that redstone. Makes sense. Uh. So now we're just going to come out a few blocks with this redstone, uh. And now we're going to make a uh, an end gate, a triple end gate, in fact. So we're going to have three redstone torches on a raised level like this, and then another redstone torch at the back. So this is what you should have so far. Uh, now over to this side, we're going to just put down a command block, and this uh, is going to be a repeating command block. Uh, and you're going to say always active. Make sure you do that, because that's something that I usually forget to do. Uh, and in here, we're going to say slash test for at at A, and then we're going to say tag equals exclamation mark. And basically, all that's going to do is it's going to test for anybody that doesn't have a tag. And, no, sorry, it's going to test for anyone who does have a tag. Uh, and that's what the exclamation mark means. So usually, you put an exclamation mark in front of a tag, like, so, um, test for anyone who doesn't have uh, the imposter's tag or something like that, but if you just have nothing after the exc exclamation mark, uh, then it just tests for anyone who does have a tag. 
Okay, so now we're just going to come outside of this um, command block, and as you can see, this uh, this comparator is not on because, as you can see, also uh, I do not have a color. So uh, that's what the tag is, by the way, because that you get a tag from the colors down there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that is our way of making sure that you definitely have a tag. Uh, and then after the second block here, actually, you're going to have to put a repeater because otherwise it's not going to go far enough. Uh, so now if I do slash tag at a add, uh, yeah, we'll do pink, then you'll see that this torch has turned off. Uh, yeah, because I have a tag, so it's testing for me. Um, but if I get rid of it, like this, have, have a guess what's going to happen. Oh, okay, it all turns off. Uh, and then we're going to do a similar thing on this side, and this is going to say slash um, slash test for at a. All right, and that's that should be it for now. Uh, then we're going to go inside of here, all right, and we're going to go to the middle block. All right, so I'd say it's about it's about here. Okay, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll we'll say it's like here. Uh, so this is 122, uh, 28 minus 137. I'm not going to remember that. Uh, minus 122, 28, 137. Okay. Slash test for. Uh, okay, actually no, I I did this wrong. It's slash ex execute um, at p. Okay, then you've got to do the coordinates. So it was minus 122. 30, 38, no, it was, like, it was 20, 28 minus 137. Alright, 28 minus 137. If I can find that, yep. Okay, uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to say test 4, uh, and then you're going to do at uh, A, and then we're going to go inside once again. And depending on how big your dropship is, if you're doing like the same design as me, pretty much, um, then you're just going to to say ten. Um, but if you're not, then what you're going to do is you're just going to count outwards um, from that block, and you're going to see how many, how how far um, these blocks go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, yep. So I'm going to make that 10, just to make things simpler. Uh, yep. So basically what we're going to say is um, a square bracket r equals 10. Now that command might confuse you a bit, but basically what it's doing is it's executing ex it's executing a test4 command uh, from this block right here. Okay, so it's basically like there's an invisible command block here that's doing the test4 command. Uh, and it's testing for players in a radius of 10 blocks from this block. Okay, so basically just anyone who's inside of this ship. Uh, Alright, and then we're going to once again get our comparator out, uh, and we're going to go over here a bit. Uh, but this time, we're not actually going... You know what? We're going to go from this way. Uh, but this time, we're not going to do the repeater, uh, and that is because we need at least four players to be found. And the more players that um, the command block can find, uh, the higher amount of signal strength will the repeat uh, the the comparator will get. So if it can only find one person, I need to make this always active as well. By the way, uh, so if I stand here, then it should. Hmm. Okay. Yep. As you can see, if you can sort of look closely, yep, there uh, it is going but it's only giving a signal strength of one, uh, and that is because there's only one person. But if there were more people, so say four, which is this many, uh, then it will give a single, it will, it, then it would give a signal strength of four. Okay, so I'm actually going to redo this a bit as well. So, what, so one, one piece of redstone, two, three, four. Uh, and then here, we're going to do our repeater. And it doesn't need any pullback. Okay, now we're going to go into our redstone torch like this. Okay, very good. Okay, so I, I realized I did that a bit wrong, so I just got rid of um, that stuff there. 
So instead of that, we're going to go here, right? We're going to go a block up and place a redstone torch. Uh, okay, so instead of on to put the command block, we're going to do it over here. Uh, and then we're going to bring our trail from over here uh, right back to here. And we're going to put our um, thing there and there. So just like it was pretty much. And then right back here um, in the same place as it was over there, just over here instead, we're going to have the command block. And then we'll connect the wires and we'll do the same on this side. So, we just come out of here, redstone block, block, redstone torch, right there. Uh, then we need this stuff, so we need, we'll just put that there, and then we need to put, ah, then we need to put this here, correct, yes, correct, uh, like that. And I can also break this stuff as well. Uh, and then we need to put the command block on top, like that. Okay, and then just connect up the wires. And that's not gonna work. So, alright, there we go. Connect all this up, and yep, beautiful. So basically, what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that if these torches are on, uh, when the button is pressed, the the pistons will push out, and they will make the the command block be activated because of the torch powering it. Uh, yeah. So now we need to actually write these commands. So this one on this side was the test for uh, anyone with the color. So in this command, we're going to write something along the lines of slash. Say, uh, I'll do this error. Um, everyone needs a color to start. I think that that's pretty much what I did uh, on my other one as well. And then over here, we're going to do slash say um, error. That's not how you spell error. Error. Um, there needs to be at least four players players to start. Okay, so now uh, what we should see is since none of these um, comparators are being activated, as you can see, uh, we should get both of those commands when we press this button. Just like that. Very good, very good. Uh, but if I add myself a color like this, then I should only get one of them. Except I didn't. So why might that have happened? Oh, I think I found our problem. It's because we didn't have this here. So we'll just chuck that there, uh, like that. And it should be fine on this side. So let's try that again. And as you can see, now um, it only says there needs to be row, there, there needs to be at least four players to start. Um, so I'm just going to fix that quickly, if I can find that. It's a bit of an embarrassing typo. So now, uh, now that we're done with all of that stuff, that error stuff, uh, we're going to come out of this uh, redstone torch with a redstone repeater. And the way this is going to get powered, this redstone torch, is if all of these redstone torches are turned off. So that means uh, that there needs to be, there needs to be at least, that everyone needs to have a color, there needs to be at least four people playing, and the button needs to be pressed. Uh, then this torch will turn on, and it's going to trigger the starting. So we need to get our command block out, like this, and we're going to place this command block facing upwards, like that. So it should be, um, like the arrows should be facing up. Uh, and then we're going to do a, a few more, like this, and okay, maybe not that high. Now, after the second command block, we're going to make these into chain and um, always active, like this, so just all of them. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a countdown of three. This is the these are the commands for the countdown. By the way, uh, in my actual one, I did it uh, from five, but just to make things a bit more simple, I'll do it uh, from three instead. So uh, let's do this bottom command first here. Uh, this is going to say slash title at a, and I just need to say something slash title. At, uh, okay. So it's going to say slash title at a uh, times. Uh, then we're going to say uh, we'll say five, and then we'll say one hundred, uh, and then we'll say fifteen. So basically, all that's going to do is when this command is triggered, uh, anything that is after it will um, be one hundred ticks long, uh, and like it'll have a coming in uh, tick like fade of five and then a coming out tick fade of 15, if that makes sense. Uh, then this second command will be slash title at at a uh, title and then I think it was something like uh, game game starts in and then I'll do like a dot 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 or dot 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 <laughs> like that uh, yep, okay. And now we're going to do this next one, and this is going to say slash title at a uh, subtitle, and then you're going to say three. Okay, um, but now with this command, you're going to set the delay in ticks to 15, like that. Now, with the next two ones, you're going to do the exact same thing as you did in this command, even the delay in ticks as 15, uh, except with 2 and 1. So this one's going to be 2, this one's going to be 1. Let's do that quickly. Okay, so now I've done all of those, uh, and if you want to test this out for yourself, uh, what, you're what you're going to need to do is you're going to come down to um, where this where, where your command that tests for how many people there are and you're just going to add a repeater uh, right there so that uh, when you when you come in here um, it only needs one person instead of four which is what I did before so now once we press this button uh, all three of those torches will turn off and those commands should be set off like this okay so that was actually quite fast so I think I might I might um I might make the delay, I think we'll do uh, 20, 20, and 20. So that's just going to make the seconds go a bit longer. So let's try this again. Game starts in 3, 2, 1. Yep, okay, I think that's a bit better. So now we're going to do, we're going to come out of this repeater, uh, this command block again with a repeater, and we're going to have a command block right here, and we're just going to leave that one for now. Uh, then we're going to have two more, and these are going to be set to chain, and always active, just like the other ones were, like this, and these are going to say slash tag at a uh, remove imposters, uh, and then this one's going to be the same, so slash tag at a remove uh, but with crewmates instead of imposters, like this. Okay, so that's going to get rid of anyone who might, um, for whatever reason, still have um, their imposter or crewmate tag from an earlier round of the game. So, yep, that, that should all work. Very good. Like that, and this should say that, okay, target doesn't have the tag, so that's just saying that I already am not a crewmate or an imposter. Okay, so now we're going to go, uh, we're going to get some black concrete and we're going to go on top of our dropship. Uh, not for any particular reason, it's just that there's a nice amount of space here, I guess. Uh, and we're just going to go, I guess we'll go like somewhere here. Uh, we're going to go a few blocks uh, above from the dropship and we're going to make a little 2x2 uh, two two, or 2 like thing tall a uh, case of black concrete uh, just like this. So now I could like fit in here and like, yeah, you can barely see anything, basically. 
Uh, and we're going to make ten of these, or actually however many you want really. Um, if you want like games with 15 people in them, then if you really want to, you, to, you can uh, add 15. Uh, but I'm going to go with 10. Uh, so we're going to make uh, 10 of these, uh, and we'll just make them a few blocks apart. So I'll do like there, and yeah, alright, that's, that's great. So I'm just going to make 10 of these real quick in a time lapse. That's why it's quick. Okay, so I've now officially uh, done all 10 of these lovely black pod things. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our block, uh, and we're going to go somewhere around here. This is, this is nice. Yeah, we'll go here. Uh, and we're going to grab the coordinates of this block, so it is minus... Uh, so actually, do it, yeah, do it in like... Do it in like the... in front of the middle pod. Alright, so in front of the middle pod, like this. Um, so minus 117, 33 minus 131. 117, 33 minus 131. Alright, so we're going to go into this command block that we didn't use before, and we're going to type, uh, if I can open it, please. Oh, okay, I like lag. Uh, slash fill. Uh, 130, it was minus 133, minus 133, th 30 something, I think, I'm assuming it's, yeah, it's 30 something. Okay, 30, 33, minus 131. Uh, 33, minus 131. Uh, then we're going to repeat that, so just do that whole thing again. There's a lot of threes and ones. In fact, everything is threes and ones. I, I hope it was actually that. Um, yep, okay, that's that's great. Uh, and actually, at the end of that, we're going to write redstone underscore block. So, once that is activated, uh, a redstone block will appear right here. So, now we need to get a repeater from... That's a barrier block. I don't know why that's there. A uh, repeater, and we're going to... It was that block there, so we're going to put that... Uh, right, not there, there. Alright, so right on this block here. And just here, we're going to grab another command block, and we're going to write uh, slash fill. Uh, we're going to write slash fill, then we're going to um, see what is... Okay, it's minus two. Okay, so tilde, 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 minus two. Tilde, 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 minus two. Uh, and then we're going to write air. So basically, uh, that's just from this command block, two blocks, or minus two blocks in the z direction to here, which is this block. So, yeah, when the redstone block appears, basically it's just going to be destroyed instantly, basically. Uh, if Also, if you can't figure out how to do the tildes, then you can just do the coordinates of that instead of the tildes as well. Uh, right, okay. So now we're going to grab some redstone dust, and we're going to make uh, a little a little pathway into all of these. So uh, just pretend that there is. So there's going to be um, command blocks. Actually, you know what? We just put a command block uh, on this block, right underneath every pod. Okay. So like two blocks under, like this. So like like there, like there, or or here, I'd rather. Alright, so I've done all of those, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, sort of like... Uh, <laughs> sort of like a trail between all of them, but you've got to do it in a specific way, sort of. So this middle command block, uh, this middle uh, pod, this command block should be activated first, the one underneath. So we're just going to have one repeater uh, before that, and that's going to be it. Uh, then we're going to come to all of these these side ones, like these, these four side ones. Um, so we're going to have a repeater there, a repeater there, and a repeater in front of all of these. 
Okay. Uh, and now we're going to have so so these four should activate at pretty much the same time. So we're going to have a repeater there and one there. So basically, after one tick, this command block is going to go, and then after two ticks, uh, these these two and these two are going to go. Uh, and then behind here, we're going to have another repeater and then another repeater going into this command block again. So now um, after one tick that goes, after two ticks these four go, and then after one, two, three ticks this one goes. So now we've got to go over this way and we've got to do these command blocks as well. So we're going to have our repeater here, here, here and here and then we're just going to fill the rest of it with redstone dust until we place the repeater there and there. So now these ones and these ones will take four ticks to be activated and there is a specific reason for that uh, and that is the amount of imposters that there are going to be. So this um, this uh, pod is going to have imposter and then this one is also going to have an imposter but only if there are more than there if there are six or more players. So um, the the first uh, person will be an imposter because there needs to be at least one, uh, and then the next four uh, will all they they will all be crewmates, and then the sixth one will be an imposter. And if there's any more, then they'll all be crewmates as well. Um, basically, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, now, in all of these command blocks, we're going to type the command slash execute at at p, uh, and then we're going to get the command, uh, the coordinates of the thing that we used down here. So I'm actually going to see, was it All right? It was minus 122, 28, minus 137, 22, 28, 37. So that was like here, in case you're You've forgotten. 22, 28, 37. Alright, let's do that. So, uh, execute at P, 122, no, it's minus 122, uh, 37, minus 128. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I have a bit of a feeling that's wrong. It might be 38, actually. Let's just have another look. Uh, 20, 22, 28, 37. Okay, so it was a bit wrong. 28 minus 137. Was it 30? Yeah, it was 37. Okay, then we're going to do TP um, at R, so that is um, at random player. Uh, then the square bracket R equals 10. So, uh, once again, we're doing like the invisible command thing. So just pretend that there's like an invisible command block here, and in a radius of ten blocks, uh, so someone in this dropship, uh, a random player, will be teleported into uh, this first pod. And then we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the commands. Literally, uh, actually no, because we're not done. <laughs> uh, it teleports at R. And then we need to get the coordinates of inside of this pod here, and that is 117, 36, minus 136. Minus 117, 36, minus. Okay, so minus 117, 36, minus 136. All right, so, yep. So there we go. So you're going to copy this command exactly into all of the other ones, um, except you're going to uh, change the coordinates from these coordinates to the coordinates of the pod above that command block. So I'm just going to do that all in a quick time lapse right now. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you, I only did uh, these three, but it's fine, because um, those three are the only ones that I'll need for this video, uh, but obviously you'll have to do all of them. I just thought that since I'm only going to need these ones, that it doesn't matter. So, yeah. 
Very good, very good. Uh, now, at this command block, we're going to come... We're going to just add a few to here. Uh, this one is going to have a delay in ticks of 100, and it is going to say slash title slash title uh, at a at a uh, tag equals crewmates. So that means that only the crewmates will see the title, uh, and we're going to say. Uh, title, and it's going to say crew, crewmate, like that. So that is going to be like your your confirmation that you are a crewmate. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing in this command, except it's slash title as a tag equals imposters. So you can probably guess what this is going to say. It's, it's title. Um, I'll do red imposter. Okay, so uh, the players won't actually have the tags. I uh, remember, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to add um, tags to these here. So first, we'll just do first we'll just do this one, I guess. So just on top of the command block that's already there, you're going to say slash slash tag at p. Uh, r equals three, because um, like the player in there is a in a radius of three, uh, and then you're going to say uh, add imposters. Uh, make sure you don't misspell it as well, by the way, because it won't like correct you for it. So yeah, uh, then we'll do the same thing in this one. Slash tag at p uh, r equals three. Uh, add imposters. Okay, and then the rest of them we're going to do as crewmates. So, slash tag, at p, um, r equals 3, add, that's not add, add crewmates. Okay, and then, uh, like, the same thing as... Okay, and it's the just the same thing as the command below. Since I'm not actually going to have, like, more than one player, uh, using this because it's just like a tutorial one. Uh, I don't really need to do the the other players ones, so I'll just do like I'll just do these two from now on. All right, and now for the second time, the second episode in a row, we're going to get a structure block. And if you didn't know how to get that, it's just slash give at p structure structure underscore block like that, and then you get a structure block like I have right now, uh, and we're, what we're going to do with this is we're actually just going to get uh, all of our sabotages, uh, including um, this new one called Use to Kill, which I, I think I said before that I'm going to make the next episode uh, most likely about it. So that's like the kill button, by the way. Uh, so we're going to get uh, all of these. Lovely, lovely. Uh, and then we're going to fly out. Alright, so we've got all of our sabotages, we've got the lights, reactor, comms, doors, and O2, plus the used to kill. Uh, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to place um, this structure block right there, and we're going to um, we're going to get rid of... We're going to make uh, all of these coordinates go to 1, uh, and just keep the offset as the same. Uh, and now you can see that it's only highlighting uh, the block underneath itself. So now we're going to throw um, the use to kill first, uh, and then whatever order you want really. I'm just going to do uh, lights, reactor, I'll do O2, and then comms, and then doors. Okay, and then we're going to name this uh, something along the lines of just sabotage. Sabotages. Yeah, that works. Uh, and then you're going to press save, like that. Okay, and we don't really need this anymore, so we can just uh, take that away. Right, so now if we come over to here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get another command block right here, and this is going to say slash structures, slash structure load sabotage, uh, and then 
uh, we're going to say tilde tilde 3 I think uh, tilde and that should okay it might be 4 yeah I'm pretty sure it's 4 okay so just uh, basically what's that what that's going to do is it's going to uh, load the structure which was just like all of the items uh, in inside of here so that everyone can so that the imposter can pick it up uh, so let, let's just test it, this quickly because I, I need to get my button out uh, I'll just chuck that away all right boom boom uh, and as you can see all of these items are now uh, in here and yep I got them all in the same order that I threw them by the way is like extra nice I guess <laughs> uh, right and now we're going to go over to here uh, and we're going to get a repeater or no we're not we're going to get a command block and make sure that it is facing uh, to like outside like this or oh, actually no I don't think it needs to uh, and we're going to do slash uh, test for is this actually oh, oh yeah because we haven't done this uh, slash test for at at a um, r equals like 4 will do because it's a bit further away. Uh, so what this is going to do is it's going to test for a player that is uh, in here and if there is not then what it will do is it won't activate this comparator basically uh, and then behind this comparator we're going to have a command block if I can find it. Yo, but what am I talking about? I have one on me. Uh, and this is going to say slash structure load sabotages. Uh, and then we're just going to get the coordinates of inside of this box. So that is uh, 117, 36, minus 141. 117, 36, minus 141. So minus 117, 36, minus 141. Okay, so uh, that is that if there is if there is a player in here, then um, then it'll load the sabotages into there as well. Okay, that's very good, very good. So now uh, basically all of this is done. Uh, obviously, I didn't do like all of the commands, uh, but like you will. Okay, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a command block here, and this is just going to say slash title at a title, um, and this is going to say, uh, and then I guess, I guess we'll do that as well. Um, yep, and that is going to have a delay of 10 ticks as well, by the way. Alright, so after this now, uh, we're going to add a command block down here and this command block is going to say well actually we need to get the coordinates of uh, our cafeteria so this is going to be the one that teleports us uh, into our cafeteria so I'll just do here um, 116 minus 1 116 minus 1 let's try and remember that All right, 116 minus 1 116 minus 1, 116 minus 1, 116 minus 1. Uh, this is going to say slash tp, no 2, tp at a 116 minus 1. Okay, so this next command block right here is going to say slash summon uh, with a um, and then we need to do a that and then this task task bar okay like that so that's what it should look like and then we need to get the coordinates of where you have your task uh, where you have your with a sporting cage uh, I'm, I'm just assuming that you did this as well so we've already got our task bar in here um, look at him he's so cute here's a, here's a good task bar yeah here's a, uh, so we need to get the coordinates of that and I'm not really sure how to do this without letting him out so I guess we'll just say it's like 
25, 26, 4. No, tw we'll do 25, tw 25, 20, 23, 4. Is that good? Or 25, 24, 4. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add the coordinates to 25, 24, 4. Uh, obviously, it's going to be different for you as well. Just remember that. 25, 24, 4. Okay, so uh, when that's activated, it'll summon a wither called taskbar at those coordinates. Which there's like there's already one there, but that's fine. We'll just ignore it. Uh, this next one, this is going to say uh, slash fill, and what this is going to do is it's actually going to um, this is going to like set off um, our it's going to like activate it's going to activate our sabotages. Um, and the reason that they're not already activated, or just like permanently activated, is because otherwise uh, we wouldn't be able to give them to the player. Because uh, like they need to be on the ground for a second before the player can pick them up. Uh, so well, the way we're going to do that is these are all um, these are all set to needs redstone. Um, so th these are like all the the, the the testing for the sabotages. They're all uh, set to needs redstone. Uh, so we're going to get the coordinates of um, the very far one over here so that is 10 13 0 and then this one which is 10 13 minus 8 okay uh, and we're just going to uh, fill all of this area between it uh, with redstone blocks which will activate all of them so 10 13 0 10 13 minus 8 let's go do that 10 13 0 10 13 minus 8 um, slash fill 10 13 0 10 13 minus 8 uh, and then we're going to type uh, then we're going to type redstone underscore blocks so once that is activated uh, it'll set off all of the sabotages and actually I just need to remember something uh, we need to set this to 100 and then we're going to do the same thing uh, with the taskbar so that's well, yep set it, set it to 100 uh, yep, very good, very good. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to grab another command block, and we're going to come right here, uh, and actually what we need to do is we need to make uh, another box up here, but instead of this time being like a cramped box, uh, we're going to have it as a 3x3 three three space inside, or a 3x3x3, a three by three by three, yeah, space, That's that, I'm smart. <laughs> Um, so yep, just like this, so that there's three or nine, I guess, blocks of room in inside of here. And what this is going to do is it is going to act as our way that the um, imposters can see who their teammate is. Uh, because obviously you don't want to accidentally go around killing your teammate or trying to kill your teammate. Um, right, yep, just do that. Uh, now we need to get the coordinates of inside of here, and that is minus 17, 41 minus 38, minus 17, 41 minus 38. So we're going to say slash tp at p, oh not at p, at a, not not a euro. Um, uh, tag equals imposters to I. I'm pretty sure I forgot it, but it is minus. 117, ah oh, no, I forgot it, let's go look. <laughs> what was it? Oh, it was 117. 117, 41 minus 38. I reckon I could have remembered that. 117, 41 minus 138. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to, this is actually pretty much the last thing as well, by the way, uh, but it might, it might, this is like the longest thing. So we need to get some compasses Alright, and what we're going to do is we also need to get a lodestone, which is somewhere here. I'm just going to search it up. Uh, load. Alright, so we're going to get our lodestone. Uh, and yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go under, underneath every single task uh, in our map. So, for example, well, I've, I've already done it before, so you can see here. Um, this is underneath the... Uh, let's see, what task is this? This is the um, 
uh, download data task. Alright, so what we would do, we would go underneath where the hopper is, okay, and then we would place our lodestone and we would click our compass on it. Uh, and now this compass will face towards the lodestone. Uh, and then what you would do is you will rename uh, every compass to the, uh, the correct lodestone that it's pointing to. Alright, and I've already done this, as you can see over here, we have all of these. Uh, so, yeah, but otherwise it, it shouldn't take that long, hopefully. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have uh, got all of my lodestones. Uh, there should be 33, I believe. Um, at least there was for me, I might have missed one, which would be embarrassing, but, um, yep. So we've got all of our lodestones, and I'm just going to clear as much room in my inventory as I can, and what we're going to do is we're going to get a dispenser, uh, and then just uh, some blocks. So we're going to come just out over to here, um, just separate from everything else, and we're going to come in, just make this little thing, and then dispenser, 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 uh, like this, two blocks high and all facing in to the middle like this. Um, and this is going, so this, the amount of dispensers that you use here uh, will be the amount of uh, tasks that uh, every crewmate gets at the start of the game. So, so this is, yep. Yeah. So this is eight. Uh, so I've decided that eight is the best number of tasks um, that the crewmates will get at the start of the game, but you can also do like any other number, really. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I just, I suggest something like more than five, at least. Uh, and then we're going to place a pressure plate uh, at the bottom of this hole. And make sure that this pressure plate uh, is one block below all of the dispensers like this. Otherwise, when something goes on it, it's going to set off all of the dispensers. Okay, so now we're going to go into uh, all of these dispensers and we're going to place uh, an equal amount of these tasks. Okay, and I think there's no strategy to what you put in. Uh, I, well, I guess there kind of is because I have to explain it to you. So I would put like all of the the important tasks, I guess, the longer tasks. Um, so like your your uh, start reactor, that sort of stuff. Yep, clear asteroids is one. Uh, prime shields, if I can find that. Uh, I guess stabilized steering. Uh, yeah, fixed reactor. So we're just going to do all of the like important ones. Submit scan is one. Um, power the the calibrate distributor is another one. If I can find that. Oh, I think I found it. Here it is. Um, so yep, you're just going to find all of the important tasks, and you're just going to put one of them in to all of these. So I'm just trying to find an important one like, not important necessarily, but just long. Uh, so that's Prime Shields, that's another one. Okay, so now all of these have one important task. So now I'm just going to put four uh, into just three other ones into all of the rest, because it doesn't really matter um, about the other ones, just as long as the, the long ones are separated. That's all that matters. So I'll take that back. Um, and then... If you have any any of them to spare, which I think I do, yes, I definitely do. Uh, then just just spread them out evenly like this. So that now, now four of them, uh, now four of the dispensers have four, and four of them have five. Okay, uh, now you're going to just cap this off on the top here, uh, so that no items accidentally spill out over the top. We wouldn't want that. Uh, and what we're actually going to do now is we're going to grab a, another structure block, uh, and we're going to come all the way back up here, and right here we're going to place this, and that's in the wrong direction, so we're going to come over here instead, and as you can see, a structure block, beautiful. Um, and we're going to make this, um, we're going to make all of them three, I think, or just depending on your size, the, the amount, so that um, the entire thing, so that all, all of the dispensers basically should be inside uh, of the structure block lines, like this. 
uh, and we're just going to call this tasks and we're going to press save like that okay uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our repeaters okay so uh, we're going to yeah, we're going to get some repeaters uh, some redstone and dust as well alright so we're going to place uh, one repeater in all of these so oh well, there's only one in here wait what? It's a bit funny. I guess I'll just share some of the love with this one that I missed somehow. Which is very strange. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to place a repeater here, a repeater here, a repeater here, and then we'll come around this way, and then we'll place a repeater here as well. So this is powering every single dispenser that there is, we just need to connect them all up. So once these are all um, powered, then they will power all of the dispensers. Okay, now right here we're just going to have a spare block open, um, and that's going to be where a redstone block will be teleported to, right there. Uh, and then we're going to come this way, we're going to place a command block, if I can find one of those. Uh, and we're going to say uh, it's minus two in the first one. So slash fill um, tilde minus two tilde 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 minus two tilde tilde uh, air. Okay. So once again, that is just filling this block with air uh, once it's powered. So once there's a redstone block there. Uh, it'll just be turned off by this command block. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to clone um, this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to clone it uh, 10 times, I believe. Yep, 10 times. Should be fun. So we're going to put one right here, and then we're going to go into load mode, and we're going to say tasks, like this. Alright, so now we have a brand, uh, we have a brand new one of these, and it says, and yeah, yeah, we need to do this ten times as well, by the way. <laughs> right, so, uh, the next one will be here, or oh, how many blocks apart did I do it? Like, more than that. There, we're going to call it put it into load mode and tasks and yep pretty much just the same thing but 10 times and I'll just speed it up okay so there are all of our um, dispenser things um, uh, what you're going to do now is you're just going to um, make sure that all of them have the pressure plates and the the capped bits at the top, like that one over there does. So once you've finished all of this, uh, which might take you a little while, like I said, uh, you're going to come down to this command block down here, and I think we'll just go underneath. Uh, and we're going to get we're going to get the coordinates of right here, okay? And this is 113 minus 113, 34 uh, minus 117, so 13, 34, 17, I guess. Uh, and we're going to say slash fill uh, minus 113, 34 minus 117 minus 113. 34 minus 117 uh, and then you're going to say redstone underscore block like that so what's going to happen after this command is powered is that um, a redstone block is going to go here then this one's going to turn it off and this um, is going to activate all of these dispensers uh, every single one but what's going to ha happen now is that we're going to teleport uh, all of the items from 
inside of uh, each specific uh, dropper into the inventories of all of the players. So what we're going to do for this is we're just going to go uh, we're going to go uh, here, I guess. All right, and we're going to get uh, in in this we're going to say slash execute at a no at at p. Then we're going to get the coordinates of inside of here. So that is uh, also we don't need the pressure plate by the way. I I was just dumb. <laughs> Uh, so we, yeah, it's 117, no, minus 117, 32, minus 117. So, minus 117, uh, 32, minus, minus 117. Um, and then we're going to say TP at E, uh, R equals one and then we're going to get the coordinates of inside of this pod which is 117 with 36 minus 136 minus 117 36 minus 136 like that so what's going to happen is if I put a redstone block right here right so all of these dispensers just got powered and something just broke and I have no idea what it is. Alright, so I fixed all of them just then. Uh, that was not too hard. And as you can see, we have our uh, eight compasses in the side of there. So now if I press this button, then they all appear here. Uh, all of these ones. And as you can see, they are all completely random, which is pretty great. So now uh, we need to do one of these command blocks uh, for every single one of these. Okay, and obviously I'm just going to do them in a time lapse. <laughs> Alright, so once again there, I, I only did these two because uh, they're the only ones that are important to me. Um, so, yep, if we once again test this, I, I mean, I hope that uh, what should happen if I get a button is that the items will come to me. We, oh, into here is what that's what I meant. Uh, beautiful, wonderful, that's <laughs> very, very good. Okay, so now I think that we have actually done everything, so let's uh, let's test this out again. So we'll press the button, game starts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, shh. Uh, I got all my tasks, very nice. Uh, I got my sword, and I am officially an imposter, and this is where I would be able to see my um, imposter teammate as well, and I got all my sabotages. And eventually, we will be uh, teleported into the cafeteria. Uh, don't mind the second taskbar. <laughs> uh, in a normal game, that wouldn't be there. So yeah, just don't worry about it. But yeah, that is that is pretty much it for this video. Um, that's that's it. Uh, if you do have any troubles, then uh, make sure you go to the comments and ask for some help, uh, because I will respond to you unless I die maybe um, but yeah anyways guys uh, if yeah if you if you did enjoy then make sure you subscribe because that that helps uh, and you should comment as well because you know the the algorithm likes that uh, but yeah apart from that I'm gonna thank you all for watching this video and until the next time I will see you all later goodbye anyways guys